to this stage as Miss Anonymous. Ain't I have a name? I do. But that man over there does not let me voice it. I came to this stage with a mask. Ain't I have a face? I do. But that man over there is watching. He is watching and profiling and harassing innocent people. And you know what? Sitting in his palace, 10 times larger than that of our queen. That man releases a presidential statement on International Women's Day every single year. That man says, he congratulates our day. Women, he says, their hearts are full of love. Their lives are full of altruism. Yes, he says that. I mean, look at me. Look at my wrists. I was a journalist in that man's country. And these wrists were handcuffed because these fingers were writing things that he did not like. And ain't I a woman? I was a mother. My husband was arrested. My nine-year-old son had cancer. Doctors said he could be cured only abroad. And that man's judges didn't let me travel with my son. Ain't my heart full of love, full of grief, full of anger? Ain't I a woman? Paradise lies at the feet of your mothers, says that man, kiss those feet. And I was a mother. My 18-year-old son was arrested on false charges. And I was hopeless. And the courts didn't care. I begged the people on the streets just to listen to me. I was dragged under the feet of policemen. Break her legs, shouted a police chief. I was a Syrian refugee. And I was sold as a second wife. If not, I was used as a weapon against Europe. I was a young teacher. I joined a protest. I was beaten. I was gassed. And then I was declared a terrorist, a traitor, an enemy of the nation. I was a lawyer. I no longer am. I was a judge. I no longer am. I was a party leader. I no longer am. I am now a prisoner in solitary confinement. I ask you, ain't I a sister? Ain't I a mother? Ain't I a woman?